Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like and share me. Come and take me. like and share me. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, you know I want you to do something, and you know what that is. I want you to go over and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you can be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment like a share. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and pray and we're gonna get into the good days. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? You guys check this out. Today, we have got Pig Nose. Pig Snout. And over here, we have Rutabaga. We've got a jalapenos. we got a few peppers. We're going to be eating those. And over here to the side, you guys, I have got the Yummy Diced Tomatoes. You know, anytime we have them, it's a treat for me because, you know, I got that tomato thing. So anytime I eat them, it's a real, real treat for me. Okay, I've got the Lips Hot Sauce over here, and you already know what's next. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is in to help us out. Because, baby, we finna get to eating. We finna get to eating. So let's see if he's got some refreshing. Mmm. 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 Yes, he is. Okay, guys, check this out. I told you we finna get to eating. I haven't had these in a long, long time. And so guess what I done? I got in to get down, in to get down, shirt. Hey, in to get down, in to get down, shirt. Hey, we in to get down, in to get down, shirt. Y'all we in to get down, shirt. So y'all already know what that means. Baby, we finna get down. Okay, y'all, let's get it. How are y'all doing today? I'm sure I asked you that again in the video. So this here is pig snot right here, you guys. And these here are diced tomatoes. Now, for you new guys that may not know, I have a thing with tomatoes. Like a ripe red tomato I can't eat. Like I can't go to the restaurant and get like tomatoes on my hamburger. Or like have like meatloaf. It's got like lots of tomatoes in it or something like that. I can't eat that. I can't. It'll make me have to go to the hospital. So, stewed tomatoes, tomatoes that are cooked, or tomatoes that haven't ripened yet, like a green tomato, I can eat. You know, I can tolerate it. It doesn't really just bother me that much. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put some Slappy Mama on it, because I don't want to have to add no salt to it, because y'all know y'all going to be cutting up about that salt. So, I'm going to go ahead and add some Slappy Mama on top of it, and do that like that right now. Y'all ready to go? Let's get it. First bite of the rutabaga. Mmm. 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 Y'all had a stew with these root baiters. They got the knife stuck down in them. Had to call production. I need a little salt on these root baiters. Y'all had to call production to come and get the knife from being stuck on in the root baiter. Big old root baiter. But baby's good. Mmm. 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 And, but, baby, I know this is going to be good. I know this is what y'all waiting on. So, I ain't going to keep you long. I'm going to go ahead on and give you some of it, honey. Yes, I am. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of questions. I've already anticipated there's going to be a lot of questions in the comments about the pig snout. I happen to love the pig snout. I don't eat it very often, but I do. Oh, I'm putting your lips hot sauce on it. And if you would like your bottle, make sure you look in the description box. I put it way up at the top so you couldn't miss it. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, um, there's going to be a lot of questions about the pig snout. I already know. Like I said, it's something that I love, but I don't eat often. 
You guys gonna ask me if it has the texture or if it tastes like pig feet. Um, here is the first bite of it. I should have gave you a piece without the hot sauce and stuff on it, but I didn't. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 through and through, but it has like lean streaks of meat in it, like you would get out of a, like a pigtail. It, that's what, that's perfect. Like a pigtail, that lean part of it that's up under the gelatinous is in this as well. Mmm. Mmm. It is something definitely that is acquired for you and your taste buds. Y'all Big Ben got some um those uh sugar-free packages. That pineapple crust, that's what that is. So I know, you know, it's not something that a lot of people. Oh, I forgot something. Mmm. I left a piece. The last time I ate these, I left it whole with the nose and the in the thumbnail and everything. I didn't do that time. I didn't do that this time. Some people were truly disturbed by that last time. They were. I was just eating. But I did keep a piece of the whole nose back here. So as you can see, that it is the nose. It's kind of cooked down. I'm going to try to hold it together where you can see it. See? See where well, that would be the nose there? I made sure when I saw that piece in the pot that I was careful with it not to break it. So I could show it to you guys. I did. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little hot. So I really can't just get down with it like I normally would. Because, baby, I get down with it. Once it's done cooled and the season done set in it, baby. Mm-hmm. And like I said, it's a treat for me anyway because pig ears, which is my favorite in the world. That is my favorite meat in the whole entire world is pig ears. You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> Y'all, I seen it. I seen it. But pig ears and it's my favorite meat in the world. It's just really, really is. Like I told you guys before, I know some of you guys have never even seen this or wouldn't dare try it. But like I said, it's enjoyable to me. And it's one of the times that I get to eat tomatoes because I this is the way I grew up eating them with diced tomatoes on them. So with that being said, baby, I love them. I love them. But like I said, some of you guys would never even try this. Never even heard that people ate this. All I can tell you is it's good. To me. And yes, you cook it just like you cook a pig feet. The only thing about it is when you get these, sometimes you get ones that are like bruised. Those have like, sometimes they have like little hairs on them. You have to take a butter knife and you scrape it off. It comes off fairly easily. I think it's a piece in here like that. I'll show it to you. Mm, if I ain't even already ate it. But they be kind of like bruised. Where it's darker than the rest of it. But honey. Oh, <laughs> baby. They good. It's good. Hey, yeah. Y'all good. It is good. It is good. It is good. I grew up eating pork. I've eaten pork my whole entire life. Pork has always been something that was a part of the menu in my household. It always has been. Because, like I said, we raised hogs on our land. We raised hogs, had gardens, all that kind of stuff. So, 
Because we raised hogs, pork was going to be on the table. It was. Woo. Uh, rutabagas. Rutabagas. Are awesome. Oh, I don't want to forget, y'all. I need to give a shout out to, I forgot one a while back. I was in the middle of Kroger a while back, and I ran into a Legion member. She was so excited, and I was too. She was so sweet to me. Her name was To Yet, and I told her I was going to shout her out in the video, and I forgot. So, excuse me, y'all. So, To Yet, I love you, boo. It was so nice to meet you, sweetheart. It was. I'm so sorry. Because I forgot. Now, Miss Maureen, Denise, baby, I love you so, so, so much. Thank you so, so much for your support. Me and my family, you're special to us. Thank you so much, baby doll. Mwah! I appreciate you, sweetheart. I really, really do. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. There's something else I'm supposed to tell y'all. There's somebody else I'm supposed to shout out and I done forgot. I done forgot. If I think about it. But in the video, I tell you, I will tell you. But anywho, how y'all doing? I told y'all I'm going to ask you that again. I Oh, that one is right there, y'all. See how it's a little bruised there? How it's a little darker? I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it. But it's a little right there. It's bruised right there. When it come in like that, you have to take a butter knife, like the back part of a butter knife, and you scrape it because it have like little hairs on it. You have to check it. It have little hairs on it. And you have to scrape them out. Well, I was taught to scrape them out. Mm. But y'all, this is good. It's good. Like, it's so good. Like, my mouth uh, won't soon. Like, even when the food ain't in there, just anticipating it getting back. For real. Y'all, yeah, it's good. It is really, really good. Get you some hot sauce. Get you some hot sauce if you're going to try it. And the green tomatoes, like I said, are optional. But if it's your first time, try it. Get them anyway. It pairs very, very well with it. Mmm. 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 So, y'all, I'm still excited. I'm still ecstatic. I'm still, like, trying to get used to it. You know, since, I guess. I don't know. Y'all, we hit 25K. <laughs> y'all, we hit 25K. We did. You guys are so awesome. You just are. You guys are just so awesome. I love you guys so much. You guys support me so well. I just love my legion. I love you guys. I love each and every one of you. So congratulations to us all. Congratulations to us all. Uh-huh. And y'all, we're looking for more. We're going to have even more. Watch. It's going to be a brighter day. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a brighter day, y'all. Watch, I tell you. I mean, it ain't got no way not to. Because we are lips. We live in our life in positive serenity. That don't mean that everything about our life is right. That don't mean we're not going to have any problems in our life. That's not going to mean that there's gonna, not going to be some times in our life where we're not going to be so positive. You know, God said we're all going to fall short of his glory. We all will. But if you live in your life positively, you know how to get on your knees and ask God for forgiveness. Keep your head up high and you strive every day to treat everybody that you come in contact with in a manner that God gets the glory. Sometimes you're not going to always be able to do that. But that's your goal. That's your goal. That's your goal. To try to win the fight. To be positive in all that you do. And that's why I am in life. I'm happy in life. You know. I got a little age on me now. You know. 
Mm hmm. But anyhow. Mmm. Oh. How's the weather where y'all in, honey? How's the weather where y'all in? It's been cool here, but the last couple of days here have been uh, really, really wonderful. Like for real, like the last two days here, it was like not on the chilly side, perfect jacket weather, but a light jacket. You know what I'm saying? A light jacket. It's all you needed. The wind wasn't really blowing to make you cold, you know. It was like real chill. I appreciate it, honey. Even though I didn't go nowhere and do nothing. When I did have to go out, you know, like to go to the store. Because I went out and bought that. Mm, excuse me. Because <laughs> I went out both days. And it was lovely. I had to leave the day I know to go to the post office. I had to send some hot sauce off today. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that have supported me in that way with the hot sauce. You guys, like I said, y'all just amazing. You guys are just simply amazing. Straight up. Straight up. Y'all are just simply amazing. Mm-hmm. Y'all do everything y'all can. And me and my husband and my daughter... We appreciate it. We really, really do. We appreciate it. Mm. Y'all, this is good. This is good. Now, I'm going to see. Because generally, no matter what I eat, at some point, somebody going to come back in the comments and they're going to say, I tried it. You know, I tried it. I'm going to see if I'm going to get that this time. <laughs> I'm going to see if I get a whole bunch. I tried it. I want you to have confidence and try it on. Just cook it, season it, just like you would a pee pee. Or if you don't eat pork and you're just going to try this this time because it's exotic or it piques your interest, let me tell you something. Salt, pepper, and season salt will get you a long way. Don't have no onion powder and some garlic salt. A real onion, baby, You with those ingredients, you can cook any meat in America. I don't care what it is. I don't care. I cannot lie to you and I'm telling you. Honey, if you have got, honey, if you have got salt, pepper, seasoned salt, like I said, just them three, you got you some real onion. You can do it with salt and pepper, really. To be honest with you, you can do it with salt and pepper and a real onion. You can really cook any meat in America if you know what you're doing. You know how, if you know what you're doing, salt and pepper and a real onion. And don't mess around, have some butter. Baby! You in now. I'm telling you now. And if you're trying to be a good cook, or at least a, I guess maybe country cook, where you cook stuff down you know, from its uh, raw form, and you season it as it goes to make the season go all the way through it, you got to use a salt and pepper, a real onion. If you try to be a real cook, practice on your food with just that. Salt, pepper, and a real onion. Most things, you're going to need butter. Butter helps um, meat accept flavor. To me, it does. Butter helps meat. You know, it enhances the flavor of meat to me. Whether it's going to be baked or boiled, quark pie. But, baby, you give me some salt and pepper, a real onion. It ain't much I can't cook. Vegetable and all. I'm telling you now, I can make it taste good with just them items right there. If I had to, yeah. Baby, let production and little lips need something to eat. And I ain't got nothing but salt, pepper, water, and some onion. I bet you I'm going to make it taste good. I cannot tell you a lie. 
I bet you it would make it taste good. Mm-hmm. And that's sad, y'all, because Honey, my cabinet in there has got some of everything in there. There's some of everything in there. Like, there's so many seasoning in there, especially since I started doing mukbang, mukbang, whatever. There's so many different seasons that I have bought, you know, for different dishes or stuff that I needed to try stuff for mukbangs. Honey, season sitting all that on the counter. I'm for real. I'm for real. Your butt. Old school. I'm telling you. It ain't many vegetables or meats that you can put in front of me that I cannot cook with salt, pepper, and some real onion. Like a, a whole onion. I'm telling you. It ain't many vegetables or, like I said, meat that you can find that I can't cook and make good as long as I got that. Long as I got that. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Y'all, I have really, really enjoyed this. I really have. I've enjoyed this. This has been good to me. So far. But anywho. Y'all. It may be old, but let me ask y'all about something, honey. I've been hearing something about this girl or this family. I don't really know because I just got into it. And like I said, I'm probably late. But have y'all heard? <coughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm. Baby. Hey, <laughs> baby, I got choked out. But anyway, y'all, have y'all heard the story about this young lady who somewhere, like she had a child that was kidnapped or something? Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. In some kind of way, the law was, got involved when the, when the child first like was missing or whatever, but I think she may have lied. Excuse me, y'all. May have lied to the police and told them that she knew where the baby was. And then months later, it came back and maybe, I don't know what got it started back over again, but I do know there was months in separation from when the child was first supposed to be missing and now, or whenever this happened. And they locked the mama up for whatever reason. I don't know much about the story. I don't even know like a name to research anything. If y'all know what I'm talking about, put it in the comments so I can go and look at it. We just came by my ear. I was looking at YouTube or something or another on my phone. And it came across the TV and I wasn't listening to it at first. You know, but I kind of was following along with the story because I could hear it in my, you know what I'm saying, in my ears. But y'all, let me know about that if y'all know about that. Because I need, I want to go and research that. I do. Please let me know. I hope I gave you enough details because that's all I can remember from it because I wasn't paying no attention to it, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. And now, hold on a minute. I think I'm getting my, I think I'm getting stories mixed up. Because it seemed like I know more about that story than my brain is telling me right now. I don't know. Maybe that ain't the story I'm talking about, y'all. Because it seems like I know a lot more about that now that I'm thinking about it or that I had heard about it. I don't know. Tell me about that one anyway. Because I'm confused about that too. I don't know no names on that one anyway. But it's something else. That ain't what I was trying to tell y'all. It's something else that's going on, y'all. The... the Y'all almost got choked out again. There's something else that's going on that involves a child. I don't know. If you know anything going on with a child, it's like world news. Y'all let me know. Hey, y'all. Y'all also done heard. We ain't talked about this, y'all. Y'all know they said the corona over here, honey. They say it's over here and it ain't over here because of people was on that boat either, honey. Y'all, I don't know what cities have been affected, but I do know that it's here in the United States somewhere. 
This ain't just happened. But we ain't talked about it, honey. We ain't saying nothing about it. But we ain't. So, y'all, I don't know where it is right now. If y'all know, put that in the comments, too. If y'all know where it is in the United States. Because all I know is it's him. Y'all got four. Uh-huh. Y'all done got pulled. So, anywho, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really, really do. I hope you guys have enjoyed this meal. I did. Like I said, I know it's going to be a lot of questions about the pigs now. I know it is. I know that is. So, I tried to answer some of the more general that general ones that I knew would be asked. Oh, I saw that, y'all. I tried to answer some of the more general ones that I knew would be asked. I read in the video. Although I know I'm going to be asked that again in the comments, too, but I do my best to keep up. Y'all, like I said, I adore Pigs now. I haven't eaten in a long, long time. I ate on my channel a long, 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 long time ago. I did. <coughs> like in the first maybe month to six weeks that I was on YouTube, I had on my show before. Because like I told y'all, when we started this channel originally, baby, we weren't going to no McDonald's, no Popeye's. We weren't, uh-uh. Baby, I got in that kitchen and I cooked a full course home cooked meal every day. Like, I think I went for sushi or something like that uh, during that time. But other than that, I cooked every single day in the beginning. I did. Whole, full course home cooked meals every day when we first started this channel. I did. So anyway, y'all, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you have enjoyed. I have. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys again for 25K, for 25K. I love each and every one of you guys. I love me. I love you. I particularly love us. That's why we're the Legion. <laughs> I love you guys. And guess what? I ate as much as I could in the get down, in the get down shirt. Hey, in the get down, in the get down shirt. Hey, y'all, this is good. I hope you guys enjoy it one more time. I just need to let you know that one more time. I hope you enjoy. But y'all, we're finna get up out of here and talk about new Legion. Thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Me and my legion want to say, we love you guys so, so much. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be here with us, and we love you for it. We love you for it. So I'm my existing legion. You know what's up. Hey, you know. Uh, oh, hey, you know. You know. You know what's up. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. That's all your intent was from the beginning, you guys, was getting there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Mwah. Oh, man, 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 man. I am stuffed. Stuffed to capacity. I'm so stuffed. Y'all, that was two whole pig snout that I had over here. I just had it cut up. Baby. That was good. That was really good. Check this out, Legion. This is all I want to tell you guys today. Thank you so, so much. So, 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 so much for 25K. You guys are simply wonderful. You guys are great, great people. And I love that you guys you come every day, you support, and you love me with open arms. You really, really do. I love you guys for that. I really, really do. You guys are the best in the business. I know you are. I know you are. I am sold. I believe it. I love you guys so, so, so much. So, so, so much. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow with another video. Call and write up somebody's day today. Or go by and knock on somebody's door and write up somebody's day today. Don't forget that. That's very important. Okay, y'all? Look in the mirror. Do it today. If you didn't do it the other day, do it today. Look in the mirror and say, Self, have I treated you well this week?
Treat yourself well first. First. Get yourself right so that you can love others right. I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.